Hi, it's Joey. Today I'm going to be watching Heartstopper Season 1, Episode 7, Bully. Thank you so much, Natasha, for sponsoring this show. I am very excited for another episode, but the last episode was, like, so sweet and perfect and, like, nothing really sort of terrible, at least, you know, terrible happened. And so I feel like these teenagers' beautiful lives are going to get a little bit messy. It is also the penultimate episode and Bully makes me think that potentially bratty rich kid boy, Harry... I should not remember his name of all the people's names. It's gonna cause problems, but we will see. Let's go. Nick's invite me around to the cinema with his friends. Oh, with his friends. Me and Nick, we're kind oh. of going out. Called it. You can't tell anyone. I'm happy for you. I you think she friends. is. Thanks. So is he your boyfriend? <laughs> we're not ready to label it yet. She's worried about. I'm worried about him going out with Nick's friends. So Mainly because Harry is there and such a big influence. If you wanted to sing to her boyfriends, what? Oh. We're not boyfriends. He's scared of her that Why Nick's gonna boyfriend? have a similar response. And he's scared to label it too quickly because what if that happens again? It's hard as a parent. You just want to wrap them up in cotton wool, but you also know they need to learn to face their own battles. Just, I want to wrap them up in cotton wool and bubble wrap. Are you, well, you are a gay nerd. We love you for it. <laughs> you are. Ben and Harry are going to be here, aren't they? Just leave, both of you. Be like, oh, actually, we've got some other plans. Bye. That makes it both. Right now, he's in a little bit of hell. To be honest. Sure. Are you okay? Char. Oh. Uh, oh my god, say it again. <laughs> That's so cute. And his response is even cuter. It's cute. Oh. Ben's sitting behind so we can see and everything. Oh. Babies. Dog. Oh, so Charlie's <laughs> Fuck off. Quick question. <laughs> Harry, can you just piss off, please? What sort of guys do you like then? Fuck off. What about Harry Styles? What about Nick? You think he's hot? <laughs> Are you that pathetic and homophobic? Nick's not even my type. <laughs> oh. You definitely have a crush on him. You do. <laughs> just stop. Wow. Nick. It's good for joke, mate. It's not a joke, it's homophobic bullying. <laughs> Jealous much. And I don't mean in like homophobe in like a all homophobes are gay. I mean like in a losing his friend or not having control over all of the boys that are within his social group that he believes he should have control over. I'm so sorry. It's fine, no. Stop Harry, being their friend. Some of the others were being I should have just left. Nick? I'm honestly used to it by now. You shouldn't That's have to be. And Nick, you should break off your friendship with them because they are not worth it. Oh, fuck off. I saw you holding hands with them in the cinema. Oh, great. Good for you. Fuck off now. Are you going out with them then? As if anyone would ever want to go out with someone as desperate as you. What a pathetic little bitch you are. I never liked you. Well, I'm good, because you're not even really worth it. You're a piece of shit. You feel so small and you're taking it out on others, and it is pathetic. And oh dear, his dad just has a vehicular manslaughter charge. That's a shame. Are you okay? Are you sure? Yes. God, just as a parent, seeing a child drowning and knowing, like, how, you know... Let's go on. He's made it clear, we're here for you, you can talk to me, but at the same time, if he's not ready... Oh. Go on then. So this is a problem with him being gay. Come on, none of us are being homophobic. You Shut are. Shut up, Harry. I'm you proud of so you, Nick. With your gay questions. Someone with the perfect opportunity to make someone feel miserable and humiliated. I'm so know. proud sure of you. This is it. hard, sweetheart. You used to it by now. This is a pathetic. Fuck off. Fan. You're pathetic, and yep, that was deserved. Uh oh. There's not really anything to tell. Oh, Nicky, come on, baby. Talk to her, sweetheart. 
Your mum's Olivia Coleman. Harry was saying some really nasty stuff about Charlie. He's so angry at myself for not seeing that all of my friends suck. Oh, baby. Fighting's not the answer. It's not, but he was being shoved as well. He didn't initiate. He just used a really bad word. Mm -hmm. I see. Charlie's a really special friend, isn't he? Talk to her, my love. He is. No, I was only joking in the cinema, though, you know? No, you're a homophobic piece of shit. What's going on? He didn't get hugged much as a child, but if you're craving human mm -hmm. contact that badly, at least he knows his place. Fuck off. You're not worth our time. Small people like you are gonna live small lives feeling like you're the big man when you're not. Baby. Can we go back to when they were getting milkshakes and everything was perfect? I'm gonna go into a fight with Harry. Mm -hmm. After you left, Nick, you didn't have to do that. He's I'm going just, through it too. I'm used to people saying stuff about me. No, you shouldn't have to be. You really shouldn't. That people shouldn't be saying stuff about you in the first place. You shouldn't have to put up with anything like that. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No. Oh, it's not You're your not fault. To say the S word. <laughs> I don't even want to be friends with those people anymore. Yeah. I don't expect you to dump your friends for me. I expect you to dump them for yourself. Always, I'm tired of all of them. Oh, sweetheart, talk to people. I've been like fighting back. Fighting. Verbally fighting back. Mm-hmm. You know that I just make you both a target. Yeah. But it wasn't like he was the only one that was saying stuff to me. People need to be educated and educate them fucking selves. No kids should go I'm through this. I started a fight with them. They're going out. And so I think, why didn't he tell me? It changes how he feels about Nick at all. But why didn't Charlie tell him? It's like we thinking. Else knows? It's just because. <laughs> He's going through it, and you're going through it. This show should be called Kids Going Through It. No, oh, it's not, my love. Baby. I think I know why he hasn't. Mm -hmm. He thinks that I'll accidentally say something stupid and out Nick to all of Nick's mates. And obviously he cares more about Nick's feelings than mine. Once you Sweetheart. get into a relationship, friendships don't matter anymore. Or is it that Nick potentially being outed to all of his friends has, or should have, a far bigger impact than you being the last to know a secret? Not a nice feeling either way, but I think, like, he's trying to protect Nick from something a lot worse. I like how she diffuses things a bit. afraid of being alone. Because you're young, and we all are to a degree. No. Tao. That was bitchy. Alright, mate. Oh, fuck off. You want to move to that fight then? Can't we get it? Just be like, where's my homework? Oh. I hate you! <laughs> I mean, the fight with Harry was my fault. No, it wasn't. It was. It was my fault. I've been making your life really difficult. His life was difficult anyway, you just couldn't see it yet. Yeah. thinking, if we just... Um... Come on, apparently Harry Green's fighting somebody at 10 by the picnic tables. Yep. <laughs> Well, Harry's ended up with even more of that over him now. Oh. Oh. Why didn't you tell me about you and Nick? What? How? I guess you just forgot about me. Sweetheart, you've. It's all your fault. Okay. I know he's going through it. And in the after episode thoughts, I will give a much more in-depth thing, but I think Tao has been quite a selfish, shitty friend here. But I will let myself think about it in more depth. Sweetheart. Oh, man, teenager. 
I mean, I luckily avoided all of this by just watching TV shows with my friends and not having any other kind of social life. Okay, so Tao is such an interesting character. I don't, well, I want to say that I do think right now he's being quite self pitying and quite selfish. I do also think Charlie has been selfish at times, and I want to understand that, like, Tao is a teenager. Of course, he's going to be a bit like this. Um, so it's not me hating on him at all. I think he's probably quite a realistic character, and there are times when none of us are at our best, most especially when we are teenagers, and you're going through those first changes where you go from being just kids who always hang out together to developing skin with others and maybe just different interests. Um, but I think it's interesting. In this episode, we had Tao come to the realization that he maybe made the bullying with Harry a little bit worse though i still don't blame him in any way by responding by giving him the reaction he wanted which therefore led to harry wanting to break him wanting to keep going etc whereas maybe if tao had just done what charlie did and just put your head down and just ignore it um harry would have got bored and moved on now again harry is to blame here i do not blame tao but i thought it was really interesting that he was like i've kind of made it worse for me and charlie by doing that and then the same and then also being like i just feel like when he it must feel shit to find out you're the last person your friend has told a big secret to. But you're also the person who has spent every single second since Charlie even mentioned Nick's name telling him, oh my god, stay away from him, it's going to ruin your life. And then being like, oh my god, he's secretly using you. And just being like, oh, he's going to break your heart. Oh, he's not good for you. Oh, I don't want Nick here. Oh, Nick's not good. Nick's not good. You know, developing in Charlie's mind this very big wall between the idea of you and accepting Nick. Like... It's not the craziest thing that Charlie's struggling to tell you, especially when he's worried that when you get so mad at Harry, wouldn't it be a real get you to be like, oh, one of your guys is gay? Now, again, I, I don't think Tao would have actually done that, but potentially at his most extreme, he might have let it slip without thinking through the consequences. And he would have felt like shit afterwards. And like I said, I don't actually think Tao would have done it, but I think it is a minute possibility that it could have slipped out when Harry was being that aggravating, something along those lines. Um and it just i think it's sad that charlie hasn't told him i think i since the milkshake date there has been enough time for him to like sit down with him and tell him i wish he had you know charlie has not been the best friend in the world either but tao has not made it an environment where it is easy for charlie to tell him about nick um so they both have a bit of the blame in their friendship going a little on the rocks and like tao is very much the uber dramatic friend you know like I'm not even friends anymore. Are we? Okay. You know, like, it's just interesting, like, the way he kind of dialed it straight to 10 instead of just approaching Charlie at, like, 5. Um, he didn't, like, he's been feeling for months now worried that Charlie's pulling away and that Charlie doesn't want his friend anymore. And so he just didn't say a single thing to Charlie until it was this dramatic explosion. Now, I can relate to that in a lot of ways. Like, you know, I don't dislike Tao. He is 15 possibly 16 like he is a child so i do not um in any way oh no yeah he's year 10 isn't he so yeah he's 14 or 15 i in no way blame him for how he's acting they are babies um but i just think like he's not being 100 percent fair to charlie and he knows all the struggles charlie has been through with regards to being gay and being accepted and how charlie having been bullied ruthlessly is probably going to be extraordinarily protective of somebody else going through the same experience i think tao struggles to look at anybody else's struggles except from through his own eyes and that is something we all struggle with especially when we're children i really want to reiterate i'm not hating on tao i think i may have been like him at times in my life like i relate to him in some ways and i relate to charlie and others but you know it's quite the way like he got into that fight and the fight happened because he was already feeling like shit because he felt like Charlie didn't trust him and then Elle's picture got involved and it was very much Elle's picture that set the thing over the edge in the same way that it was Harry being abusive to Charlie that set Nick over the edge. Um, so I do hope in the next episode Tao apologises to Charlie and they actually have a proper conversation which will be very long overdue. Um, but... I feel very bad for Tao while also feeling like he's being quite a shit friend at the moment. And again, I do also think by now Charlie should have told him there has been more than enough time. There will have been half terms and weekends and all sorts where they could have just sat down and had a long conversation together and he could have been like, look, you know, this is Nick's secret and I need you to not say anything to them. And he'd have been like, of course I wouldn't say it. I mean, you know, I don't think Tao would have said anything, but I can understand why Charlie is scared that it's that faint possibility. Um, 
and Charlie, this is the last thing he needed to hear because he's already blaming himself for Nick and Harry's fight and feeling like he's just made Nick's life worse. Now he's going to have made Tao's life worse by existing. And he hasn't. It's a bit of a shit for him by not telling him. But he had his reasons too. And I think a conversation should hopefully be enough for those two to put things to rights. Um, but we will see. And Harry is just a homophobic piece of shit. He's very much that narcissist who always has to be on top. And I think he's definitely homophobic, but also... It's very much that sense of the thing with Nick and Charlie is Nick was one of his boys, one of his boys, and he was in control of this group of boys. They did what he wanted. They danced to his tune. They didn't go out of line. And suddenly Nick is bringing in this other kid who Harry didn't approve of, and Harry made it clear he didn't approve of, and Nick didn't care. Nick continued the friendship. It is very much part of that. He's very much that king of the popular crowd that thinks he's all that, and then everyone else in the school who is not in his immediate orbit are like, it's a wanker but you know you're stuck with him um i hope in the next episode we see um nick breaking away from harry i mean i get onto nick and charlie in a second but like regardless of whether charlie breaks up with him or not um i hope we see nick breaking away from those friends and i do think at the cinema in particular a couple of the other rugby boys did look a bit uncomfortable and you know they are 16 at the oldest so again they are babies they are children this is the first time probably that they've been confronted with such a kind of moment of truth in a way being confronted with do you just stand there and there probably were times before when he said things and again i reckon harry has got worse and worse but this kind of behavior if you let the small things slide it does get worse and worse there probably were times when nick has heard him use some offensive language maybe not to that degree again he's getting worse but being a little bit bullying a little bit teasing but he always counters it in the terms of it's a joke it's and he's your friend and you don't want to rock the boat and if you say something they could turn on you and you could definitely see some of those kids there just kind of being like if i just don't say anything then he won't look at me he won't turn on me um but maybe there could be a couple of them that could become friends but regardless i want nick to i think nick would fit in nicely with our little group of friends once we get through this rough patch but for his own sake he needs to find other friends because these people are not his friends um they didn't stand up for him they don't stop harry and in a way if nick breaks away and they stay with harry then they were not ever friends in the first place so if nick breaks away and some of them find the courage to do it with him i might be able to forgive them for not really doing or saying anything because they are children and it is hard but now charlie feeling like he's ruined nick's life he's ruined Tao's life he's ruined everyone's life he's in dark place he wants to break up with nick because he's ruining everything now again charlie is 15 and going through a lot having been through a lot and you can see that all he sees is i entered nick's life and now it is painful and miserable whereas before he was you know golden boy on top of the world but it isn't that black and white nick always would have had to come would have I mean, eventually nick would have come to the realization he was bisexual um and either nick would have eventually realized his friends were idiots that harry was a disgusting piece of shit that no one should be friends with or nick would have become more and more like him charlie being in his life just showed nick the right, brought him out of that bubble he'd ended up in to show him a better way to be and a different way to be and nick has been far happier within himself i'm pretty sure it was nick's mum said to him like oh you're happier when you're with charlie than you are with your other friends and i know like at various points my mum has said like oh you know i like x friend a little bit more than y friend because you know they you seem happier with them or you know they flux i don't know mum's not um so i don't think it's i think these this was a fight nick would have ended up having with harry eventually um you know the most peaceful way it would have gone would have been they'd, they'd have gone to uni and just lost touch um which will happen anyway so i do hope the next episode even if at the beginning charlie continues his conversation with nick and is like we're done i hope the episode ends with the friendship group coming back together with some apologies being made i hope it ends with nick breaking away from his group of friends um and I hope it ends ideally with Dick and Charlie saying like, you know, let's do it. I would say going public, but I'm also totally aware that there is one 20, 25 minute episode left. And there's three volumes in the Heart Stopper series. And I don't even know if Nick and Charlie are a couple throughout all three books or whether they have like a teenage breakup. And then, you know, I don't know. I kind of assume they are, but I know not. I have not read these books. I've just heard of them. Um, I don't read graphic novels and I don't really read just romances either. But I just... So I hope it ends with friendship group back together and apologies being made and, you know, 
there are sticky patches in teenage friendship groups, there are sticky patches in every age friendship groups, but teenage friendship groups in particular, you are changing and growing so much. If you're truly friends, you'll find your way through it. I hope Charlie does kind of say, look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about Nick, and that Tao gives a proper apology. Um, I hope Nick, like I said, breaks away from his friends and potentially integrates into Charlie's group of friends, or at the very least, finds some nicer year 11s to hang out with. I hope Nick talks to his mum, finally. I do wonder this comment she made in the car about Charlie being a very special friend um, and like Nick fighting him because he used an extremely bad word. Is she now finally starting to think maybe there's more to this than friendship or is she just so convinced her son is straight? I mean people, older people in particular, but there are people who just aren't as aware of things as us and they grew up in a different time, with different access. Now I know like my mum is on social media or like I mean, she doesn't post ever but she's on Twitter, she's on TikTok and she is like more informed than me sometimes about such things but other mums who don't who you know aren't in having a similar experience just might not be as aware of things they might think oh he's expressed a preference for girls once therefore he's straight i know my mum used to think more along those lines when i was younger and then she has since massively like educated herself um which is what everybody should do and not my mum ever was toxic or homophobic just you know she used to think because i fancied a boy once that that meant i was 100 percent definitely gonna be straight um, and we've talked about it and laughed about how like much we've changed so Olivia Coleman I don't think would be toxic I think she could actually really help Nick if he tells her and I just really need that scene I'm desperate for it you don't cast Olivia Coleman as a mother and then not use her um and I just would love if it ended with Charlie, Tao, L, Tao and L potentially acknowledging this thing they have for each other but regardless that can be next season that's fine but with Charlie, Tao, L Isaac, that is his name, and Nick, and Josie and... is her name even... no, her name's not even Josie, is it? Elle's friends from her other school. My brain is a sieve. The lot of them hanging out together would be a really beautiful way for it to end. Excited for the last one. Thank you so much, Natasha, for sponsoring, and thank you for watching.